Can carboxytherapy reverse hair loss? Well, if we believe a research report recently published out of Iran, the answer could very well be yes. And that's a resounding yes. But it's a big if. We're going to tell you all about carboxytherapy and the latest hair loss research in today's video. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. So guys, over the past 5-10 to 10 years, we've seen the emergence of one of the most powerful hair loss treatments ever developed. And I mean not just in the scientific literature, but also in terms of adoption by the hair loss community. And I'm referring to the combination of microneedling with the topical stimulant, typically minoxidil. At this point, we've seen multiple pieces of scientific research from various parts of the world. And they generally suggest that hair regrowth two to four times greater than what you'd get with minoxidil on its own. And some of the before and after photos that we're seeing are nothing short of jaw dropping. However, there is an obvious drawback to this treatment. You have to perform the treatment daily. That's twice a day for the minoxidil and then once a week for a dedicated microneedling session. So we are talking about a non-negligible commitment of time. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could do a microneedling plus minoxidil treatment, say once a month, and then you wouldn't even need to think about your hair the rest of the time. Sounds pretty good. And if we're to believe the latest research to come out of Iran, this might very soon be a possibility. The paper was published in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology, and I've linked to the paper in the description below for you to check out. Now, the rationale behind this is approaching hair loss as a multifactorial condition, as something where monotherapy, be it finasteride, minoxidil, or anything else, just won't work as well. So this inspired the research to try the microneedling plus minoxidil treatment in combination with another treatment modality. And that treatment modality is carboxytherapy. Now, I probably know what you're thinking right now. What on earth is carboxytherapy? And I have to tell you, up until recently, I'd actually never heard of carboxytherapy myself. So in a nutshell, carboxytherapy literally involves treating the skin with carbon dioxide. The CO2 is administered subcutaneously in small quantities. And it's used for anything from minimizing scars and wrinkles to treating black circles under the eyes and even cellulite. When carbon dioxide is injected subcutaneously, it diffuses into the tissues. And in so doing, it promotes vasodilation. In other words, the widening of the blood vessels. And over time, it eventually also leads to the formation of new blood vessels. Together, these two effects of carbon dioxide result in an increased flow of blood to the area being treated. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that blood flow is one of the most important elements when it comes to fighting and reversing hair loss. So guys, let's take a look at this paper. In this study, there were nine participants. Out of the nine, four were men and five were women with pattern hair loss aged 25 to 55. The patients received just one treatment session per month for a total of four sessions. And this was spaced out over three months. On the day of the treatment, they received carboxytherapy, followed immediately after that with minoxidil 20% in combination with microneedling. So it's quite an intense treatment, but Given that it was only administered once a month, it should be easily manageable. Now, in the study, there were three measures of efficacy. Hair counts, hair shaft diameter, and a pull test. Now, in the pull test, you gently pull a strand of hair and count how many hairs come out. The ones that do come out will be in the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle. So the fewer hairs that are pulled out, the fewer that are intelligent, meaning the more that are in the growth phase, which is exactly what you want to see when you're trying to reverse hair loss. So guys, let's have a look at the results reported in the study. You can see in this graph the progression of hair counts at the start of treatment, then after one month, and then after three months. The black bars are men, and the white bars are women. Average hair counts in men increased from 90 hairs at baseline to 145 after one month and 217 after three months. These are dramatic increases, and it's of a magnitude that you rarely ever see in the hair loss research. Alongside the increases in hair counts, the researchers found a substantial increase in average hair diameter, meaning the hair shafts actually end up becoming thicker. The average diameter of the male hair shafts was 46 micrometers at baseline, which grew to 57.5 after one month and 74.5 after three months. Finally, the pull test also showed that fewer and fewer hairs were intelligent as the treatment wore on, from an average of 5.1 hairs at the start to only 1.4 hairs 
by the end of treatment. So overall, you had dramatic improvement by all measures who used in this study. Now guys, I'm not going to lie. On the one hand, the results reported in this study are absolutely fantastic, but they are almost too good to be true. And on the other hand, it's not really the best written paper. The description of the actual treatment protocol is very sketchy, and it's literally like one sentence. There are no details about how many injections were given and where, how the minoxidil was prepared and applied, what kind of microneedling device was used, how long the treatment lasted, there was just nothing. If I was doing research and I got results like this, I can tell you that it all would have been written down in detail, so that other scientists would be able to replicate this study independently. But here, all these details are absent. We don't even get any details about the stage of hair loss of the various subjects, or the way that the hair counts were measured, or even if there were any side effects. Also, there were no global before and after photos of the patients to back up these extraordinary results, where you would expect to see a dramatic night and day difference in hair coverage. This is despite the fact that the authors state they took photos to back up their results. And there is only close-up trichogram photos of one patient, but no before and after of the entire head. Finally, parts of the paper are pretty poorly written, especially the conclusion to the paper, which reads like it was written hastily on a napkin over lunch. So we would take everything reported here with a grain of salt. On the flip side, this is not the first paper that we've seen on the carboxytherapy as a possible hair loss treatment. A few years back, we had the publication of a series of case studies on carboxytherapy treatment for various forms of hair loss, including androgenetic alopecia and alopecia areata. And the results of that study were very promising. Though, again, it was just uncontrolled case studies. So guys, let us know your thoughts on carboxytherapy for hair loss. Is it something that you've even ever heard of? And guys, what are your thoughts on this latest research? Could it be the next big thing in hair loss treatments? Or is it simply too good to be true? Guys, if you want to learn more about derma rolling or Will's eight steps he used to reverse his hair loss, then click the videos on the screen now.